friends, it's Kaylee Bird. I'm so glad to have you back today. So today I'm actually chatting with you at my parents' uh, newly built retirement lake house down here in uh, central Florida. And it is a beautiful, beautiful January day down here. Although of course, since I'm used to Hawaii, even this like 64 degree day is pretty cool to me. I am now officially a huge wimp. But anyways, um, yeah, it's really nice. I'm enjoying it. Uh, obviously I'm not in the studio. I won't be for about 10 days. And so I figured this was a great time to kind of chat with you guys about some more ch -ch -ch changes going on. I know I just had this whole thing with moving out and uh, lots of things like that, but I actually have got something brand new in store for my artwork too. So my big news today is that I have decided to conclude my Bohemian Goddess series. And I know that might be kind of a surprise to some folks, but I normally tend to do bodies of work, as in usually about nine to 12 pieces sort of around a central subject or focus. Um, there's a few reasons I like doing this. One reason is because I can really kind of dive into a topic that I'm interested in and really, really explore it as much as possible. And then, of course, I become interested by something else or I have another sort of inspirational idea. Um, another reason is because I'm kind of an organizational person. It's nice to have a nice, complete, tidy body of work that you can then you know, put put a bow on it, so to speak, and um, it makes it really good for when you're applying to galleries and that sort of thing to have a nice cohesive body of work. I'm also really ready to get back into figure work like I used to do, and to be quite honest, I'm very ready to work from my own photographs again. Um, every other painting I've done has been from my own photographs or from life, of course, and the point of this series was to connect with women all over the world using their photos of themselves in order to highlight these women as their own individual creatures in the way they like to present themselves to the world. So it made sense that I use other people's photos for this series, which I actually got permission, of course, before doing so. But it is so much better to be able to work from nice, high quality photos that I take myself where everything is clear, where there's a lot more definition, there's a lot more variation of color in the highlights and shadows and things. So it's a huge, tremendous difference being able to have that uh, clear detail that I like to have in order to really, really expand my work. I am also so grateful on the many deep connections I have made through this body of work too. Honestly, it's very easy for an artist to just sit in their studio and kind of create whatever they want in their own little bubble, in their own little head, and other people can take it or leave it as they like it, so to speak. But this series really prompted me to get out and connect with different women from all over the world and find out who they were. and to appreciate them and in that I got a lot of appreciation from other folks that told me or showed me how they felt that they were represented in my works too. So it was so special to have viewers tell me that they felt more a part of this body of work than maybe other works they had seen either from me or even other artists as well. And um, I definitely plan on taking this experience into future bodies of work and trying to learn to connect with my audience as much as possible. Honestly, if I've learned anything at all, it's that although we can be from different cultures and look or seem very different, we are all very, very much the same all over the world. Same dreams, same feelings, same hopes, same fears. But I'm thrilled to announce here first that I am going to be playing with light and shadow in some really new and exciting ways and I just can't wait to get started on this next body of work. I think it's going to be very unique and do not be surprised if you wind up spotting some beautiful Hawaiian flora mixed in there. As I'm sitting on the other side of the 
porch, I look over and realize that there is a perfect spot to tell you about my next series, which I am really excited about. I want to play with shadows. I am enamored with the way that light streams through, especially plant life and various things and lands on the body. There's not very much more beautiful than speckled lighting. So this is just a very tiny rinky-dink teaser of what is to come in my work. Thank you guys for being here. I love you very much. My viewers just make my heart sing. So I appreciate you. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It goes a really, really long way for helping me grow my channel. I will see you next week. Bye guys.